Hi, Chalk Squad, it's Dylan. From the grave, it's Andrew. <laughs> from the grave i That's died so dark. okay <laughs> all right well you know what's not dark uh the episode you're about to listen to or maybe it is because here's the deal um the episode you're about to listen to was originally a uh, bonus episode of the show that was behind a paywall and as part of such it was not edited or censored or really anything <laughs> so i've gone ahead and marked it explicit for the public publishing it might not be but i figure we better cover our bases and uh yeah this, this, i'm not not gonna go through and re-listen to all of these to verify so just have fun with unedited off the cup probably drinking alcohol dylan yes. and andrew yeah. um because yeah it was a joy to make i hope it's a joy to listen to yeah <laughs> so anyways enjoy this guys Hi folks, welcome to Candid Commentaries, the show Andrew and I do that you pay for if you're hearing this, Uh, unless we've failed horribly and now you get it for free. Who knows? <laughs> um, let's, let's not let's let's not cross our fingers for that. Maybe maybe nobody will ever hear this. You, you never know. Um, but uh, yeah, we're uh, d- d- coming in to talk about another episode. Uh, gosh, this week it is. A fine feathered frenzy. So, I'm guessing birds. Hey, not complaining. All right. No complaints here. So, we will be uh, be starting the the episode in three, Three, two, two, one, go. Ah, those dulcet tones of focus on the family in my ear. I can hear the chimes of trauma. The chimes of trauma are blowing. Chimes of trauma is good. I do. I do like that. (laughs) Uh. We've got a remote control lawnmower. Is that that's what what I'm seeing? Wow, this wit is sad. This witch just broke the fourth wall. <laughs> that, that's insane. Could you imagine if somebody broke the fourth wall in Odyssey? <laughs> That'll be the final oh, wait. Oh, he was like, I think I got this figure, thing figured out. I was like, are we going to do the opening credits to Odyssey? The whole like, oh, let's see if this thing works. Whoa. Okay. But no, we've just, Dylan's just gonna, yep. Hi, friends. Sorry, I hope you didn't hear that. (laughs) Whitsend has sprinklers confirmed. Also, like, McAllister Park, way bigger than I expected. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is kind (laughs) of in the middle of nowhere, so everything's really as big as they could want it to be. Here's my, here's... Here's my new pitch. Huh. You know that portion of Odyssey in which someone writes a book about Odyssey, the town of Odyssey yeah. and then they make it into a movie? Yeah. What if this is like the TV adaptation of that movie? Oh. Like this is a TV show that That's exists so bad. in <laughs> Odyssey. Yes. <laughs> about the town of Odyssey. Interesting interesting because i'm like if i was going to like if i lived in the real life town of odyssey yeah. and then was like let me make a show about it it would have like it would be this right ah uh, because <laughs> it's like heightened yes definitely i think it's i mean it's it's definitely amplified for the children's cartoon and wow we just went right down his throat we're we gonna do it again <laughs> i think they can only do one of those per episode Oh, poor wet dog. Wet dog is wet. But what, I, I, he's been going around in this fountain, fountain for so long. It runs off of hope and now fear. he's got stuff. And just the all right. Sure, it's a cartoon. Yeah, it's a I cartoon. I have to remind myself it's a cartoon. We're here for but, it. Oh, good job, wit. Way to break your invention to save Dylan. <laughs> Oh. 
Wow, she oh, looks exactly what, what like What if this is Mrs. McAllister? Stuff. Oh, she's been Oh, shoot, so I didn't. Long. Do we always have a cold open? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think in both the... Yes, um, yeah, you're right, because it was the bad guys breaking in in the first mm-hmm. one. Yeah. It feels kind of haunting as without a voiceover. And I noticed that even about our own podcast. (laughs) We do the voice, though. Yes, we do. Yes. If it's there. If it's there. But yes, I should. Next time, next time we record one of these, I'll do the uh, the thing here. Also, found out recently, Ken C. Johnson, who made this show, mm-hmm. is the guy behind McGee and Me. Oh, interesting. So it was like, Focus was like, all right, you've done well with one with one show, sir. Come make another one out of existing IP that we already have. Interesting. I mean, that's, that's, why that's funny. Bad. That's kind of... <laughs> oh. Wow, Wit is getting anybody calling out. Wit a menace is hilarious. Uh. <laughs> Wait, are we going to flash back? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. This is very interesting how they double down on Wit being flawless. Yeah, but, like, this is also, like, the least Wit Wit. Yeah, I know, I know. It's It's so funny. I love it. His cheeks are so high. Like, the distance. <laughs> like, I don't know. H- gravity is not a thing. Clear- well, clearly. Well, looking she doesn't at- have cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> it's and an outrage. All right, all right. How about how about quarters? Oh, I just made the connection between killing roses and uh, a recent episode we covered. Baha continuity. We love to see it. <laughs> I wonder if the I wonder if she's if Harcourt's the competition for uh for the science teacher dude. I believe it could be. I mean, no. it, one of many. You know, when you enter your roses, oh, wow. you are competing we're going to get the gopher roses. coming right through a sidewalk. Love to see it. This. Oh, and he is frustrated with the with, with the bicker. Yeah, I mean, like this. The is... gopher is the yeah. voice of reason, obviously. Yeah. We've been misunderstanding Winnie the Pooh the whole time. Oh my word. How long do we have to argue without being able to understand any of it? Yeah, I'm actually with her on yes, this. Yes, Enough. It's okay, son. We're right. <laughs> Are you, though? Like, I realize it's an accident. That's still... Like, I still would probably react similar to her. I want to be better about that, honestly. What? Like, that's a thing. It's a thing I've been thinking about a lot of just, like, brushing stuff off. Mm-hmm. Because at, like, the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. And it's, oh, like, a 100%. chance to show, show yeah. grace. But, like, the uh, behind-the-scenes Chalk Squad, a uh, podcast that... Might never come out, but I recorded some episodes with a friend of mine covering Seinfeld. Um, and there's an episode at which, like, Jerry's entire apartment gets robbed. Mm. And Kramer, because Kramer left the door open. And Jerry's like, ah, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> and, like, Jerry is a horrible person in that show. 
Yes. Like, that's part of the deal of Seinfeld. Like, yes. everyone is terrible. Yeah. But the fact that he just, like, lets that roll, I'm like, yeah, it's just stuff. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Like, what's the point of, like, being all bent out of shape about it? It's not going to, especially, especially if it's not going to make or break you. Mm-hmm. 100%. Like my yeah, my brother ripped a hole in a pair of socks I liked this past yeah. summer, and I got really pissed at him. And then was like, "Wait, they are socks. it's a pair of socks. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, like be more careful with my stuff, man. But like, no, you don't owe me anything. Like, just yeah. go on with your life. Hopefully, none of that conversation was important. Yeah, we definitely missed all of it. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. I like this style because jumping in and out of what is happening makes it more palatable and we can fully appreciate the the shenanigans. Wait, he's breaking into her house now? Yes. This seems like the wrong call. If this is what the sister advised, the sister is dumb. <laughs> Jock Squad, write to us and tell us what happened in this episode. We missed it. <laughs> Ooh. Ominous self portrait. This is this is definitely what the uh case of the secret room dude's house looks like, right? Yeah, it's exactly what I was thinking. Except did he have a bunch of like dead animals on the wall? Yeah, and there was like uh African tribal masks. Right, or, or not not tribal right. masks. It was like Amazon right, rainforest. And, and, and blow, blow darts. darts. Yeah. Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, To see, wow! The frantic lawnmower represents the uh, unpredictability and change of life, and uh, Dylan feels helpless, like he's running away, trying to climb up curtains. Do you have nightmares, Andrew? No, no, I don't have dreams at all. Well, how have we never talked about this? Because I also don't. Nice. <laughs> On a very rare occasion, I will. Yeah, they're always bad for the most part, but no, I don't. No. Yeah, when I have nightmares, I don't, th- or like bad dreams or stuff, I never think about them as like nightmares. It's usually just like something stupid and embarrassing. Oh, so my nightmares are always about like terrorism and <laughs> global uh, catastrophe. You see, I never have anything <laughs> existential happen in a dream. Oh, that's. That's most of my wheelhouse uh, <laughs> is the existential, like, uh, I have to choose between my family or running away and saving my own life, or I've been separated by my family and I'm trying to get back to them. Wow. Apocalypse type stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, not a good time. But yeah, for the most part, I don't dream. Like... I would be incredibly shocked if I woke up tomorrow morning and was able to tell you about a dream I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yep. That is my experience as well. But other people dream all the time. And I'm like, how can you dream so much? (laughs) Your highness. She's got a lot of purple. Mm -hmm. So who do you think, what do you think Mr. Hardcore Steel is? Like, he's definitely dead. Yeah, maybe a pharmacist. I don't know. Nah, this is like old money. Yeah. I'm thinking like... Honestly, props to the animation department for actually writing out all the stuff on her checklist. Because I feel like that's a thing that normally you just do scribbles. Yep. Oh. Oh, fine feathered frenzy. Mm-hmm. Aww. Those are cute parrots. Oh, her parrot died. Her husband died and her parrot died? I assume She's her ex- husband was purple. Yes. It was a uh, couch was made of oh. memorial. Oh, didn't die, just flew away. Maybe her husband just flew away. <laughs> That's what my parents told me when my grandpa died. That he just flew away <laughs> with heart shaped wings, heart shaped wings right out of the side of the car. <laughs> Oof. Or else, 
I like how they show that people are young by n- giving them like two teeth. <laughs> And people are super old when they have zero teeth. Ever. <laughs> like, oh, you wow. watch lips, uh, wits, lips move. Have you ever yodeled? No, not successfully. I've tried. Certainly. Okay, I but mean, like, though, like, but no, but like, like being in an empty house and going yodel a he who. Yeah, I've tried. Okay, okay. I feel like it's a thing I see all the time in Ooh. cartoons, but don't actually. Uh, I'm so glad John Campbell's doing the music. He's he's really in his bag. What? He's in his bag. Like it, yeah. it sounds great. Like yeah. he sounds like he knows exactly how to score what's happening. Right. It's cuz it's it's underlying visuals in a way that he never gets to do in Odyssey, obviously. Yeah. But like you can't do any sort of visual gag. That doorknob's the wrong way. I'm sorry. What? Oh. It goes. Yeah. <laughs> it's the line. Oh, he's going to get swab. Is, is he going to get chased by the vacuum? Odds on him getting chased by the vacuum, Andrew. No, getting he's pulled on the vacuum. He's riding the vacuum. <laughs> he's a switch. <laughs> did you did you ever have have a vacuum like that? That I rode on? No, like like the like the big upright with like bag a thing? huge bag kind of deal. Because uh, we always was... had the pool behind kind. Also, that's not how you spell vacuum. It's got two C's. But they did get the two U's. <laughs> ruh, ruh. Oh, this poor guy. One time I was cat sitting for my neighbors and I was walking back from their house and fidgeting with their house key that they gave me on a lanyard. And I was swinging it around, just having a good old time. Shot it straight up 25 feet, maybe, maybe 20 feet into a pine tree. (laughs) Neighbor's pine tree, not my own pine tree. (laughs) <laughs> pet sitting Wait, never goes as Wit's, expected <laughs> is Wit gonna flirt with her yes it would seem so all right you get it Wit. yeah new year new wit <sighs> <laughs> oh brother i'm really slipping <laughs> He do be slipping though. <laughs> Are we allowed to curse on this? I mean, I don't care. If you bitches if you're be paying slipping. us money. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a big fan of the B word. I think it's the least one of the least justifiable, but it works. <laughs> He looks, uh, I think Miss Frizzle had a bird that looked kind of like him. Hmm, interesting. Mm. Probably similar era. Oh, no! (laughs) Who did the art for it? Like, who did the animation? Uh, I... Probably the same people who did Mickey and me. I don't know. Some, some. It'll say in the credits. I feel like we've noticed it before, but I, I don't know if they've done other stuff. It's yeah, um, sure, sure. Wait, it is your fault too. That's true. You did open a door into a house that is not yours. Glad Wit's owning it. Like he was expecting her to be there. Yes. But he just walked in. Which, granted, I did at your house last night. But, you know. (laughs) It happens. I'm good friends with your family. Yes, there's infinite more familiarity. And also, you are... uh, Like, our house is exceptionally open door policy. (laughs) 
They don't even have doors, Chalk Squad. No, no. It's a, it's a bungalow situation. We just have very heavy curtains. <sighs> well. Oh, your, your feathered friend. Oh, never mind. It's feathered frenzy. It's not fine. Never mind. It's fine. I thought I was referencing the title. Oh, yeah, we just got The redemption with... arc is to save the bird in the Stratiflyer. We so always she... have to have the Stratiflyer. <laughs> Andrew, is this what your uh, your dad's bird game is like? Pretty much. Pretty much. It's just uh, <laughs> sitting in presumably a fainting couch? I don't know. Uh, in the sky, looking for birds. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding me, Wit? Wit looked at the camera and his fingers danced. Does Eugene, we'll see if, we'll have to watch Eugene's body movement, see if he seems more human this one. The way that he was sitting. Be did quick not about it. the ticket for a train. <laughs> Maybe you should be on the ground. <laughs> Wait, he's oh. stuck? Oh, uh, no, just he's just big chilling. Okay. I hope lightning strikes. <laughs> also, Wit, as the inventor of the machine, I feel like you are best capable. I love old clocks. Mm. Big old clocks. Mm -hmm. Small old clocks are cool, too. Yes. Clocks in general. Mm -hmm. Rather nice. I'm a huge fan of them. As long as they're not cuckoo. Ah, yeah. And the weight ones, like the, the ones where you have to consistently pull the weights down. Oh, sure. If it requires, like, upkeep, you just have to be conscious of that commitment you're making yeah. to your machinery, which <laughs> most machinery doesn't have. I don't know. I feel like my car requires some commitment. Fair. Wait, is he going to let Dylan go out onto the... Holy... I oh. mean, I guess that's a big ledge. Yeah. That's a big ledge, but this seems... Not... Okay. Oh, it's going to invent it. Look at this. Yeah, but Dylan's just going to go right out there. Oh, oh, oh. Second hole. <laughs> what? Oh, he's stuck on the track? Cut to train? It's a cartoon train whistle. Wow. Yeah, she is insufferable. Uh, the, but, but, the, the, I guess the man picked... Dylan up. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's going to get smashed. Uh, oh, boy. Wow. Very biblical. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. They'll get me too'd by the end of this. This is... <sighs> this is truly something. That's just terrifying. Like, that just... Yeah. Like, no, I'm not a heights guy, Chalk Squad. No, no. This is tough. Oh, wait. Excuse me. I want to point out those... How how long ago did the, the purple, purple parrot flew away a while ago? Yes. 
This Those guy's are not. Just, a, yeah. This guy's just a good stepfather. He's I an respect excellent, it. Excellent stepfather. Those yeah. are not his eggs. Those are absolutely <laughs> not his. But you know what? He's showing up. I'm for proud his, of you. Yeah. Napoleon is kicking butt and take. Oh yeah. no! Oh wait! He's like, oh, look, look, my lover, okay. my lover disappeared. She hooked up with some other guy, but she couldn't find me. That's just nature. Now that we're back together. Oh wow! Right, of course. We're all just doing the. We best gotta have the eggs. Oh, the hammer by the eggs. hammer. That's Dylan will save. Pretty good. That is. I'm so scared. <laughs> no, my hardcore parkour. <gasps> Dylan, nope, nope, I do not like this. Dylan just fell off the edge of a clock saving bird eggs. Which just thinks he died. Is he going to get picked up by the parrots or by Eugene? Eugene, for sure. Okay, well, I wasn't sure how cartoony we were being. Ah, uh, you see, it's a Christian show because he said, God, God bless, bless you. <laughs> As you of... should respond in any instance of gratitude. No matter how genuine or ingenuine. <sighs> yeah, she just gave it the old uh, it's the tropey trope yeah the christmas carol the so <laughs> mm. <laughs> honestly for Terminate a cartoon character current he doesn't have that big a head hmm who dylan, dylan. Yeah, no, he's uh, surprisingly proportionate. Maybe that was one of the strengths of McGee and me that I just never got. So, Andrew, we only have, like, 18 of these. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to do McGee and me at some point. Yeah, well, <laughs> I've never seen it, so I'm very in. I'm very in. Wow. Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> Aww. You see, this is just a good story. Oh, oh wow. poor Eugene. The birds are entirely different color in that picture than they were in the scene. Oh, and that's the whole episode. Wow. Man, these things are breezy. Breezy. Created Great. by Phil Waller and Steve Harris is such an interesting, like, like Adventures in Odyssey is created by them, which is yeah. like, it is, but I just never think about Steve Harris ever. Mm -hmm. Max but. Bennett. He's to blame. Pez. The guy's nickname is Pez. I love <laughs> this. Ryan He's... T. Smith doing character design. Okay. Don Towns, Barry Greenberg, Fred Warner. Drew Barlow. Do, do, do. Oh, this is just delightful. Do, Thank you for coming along do, with do, us. Bing. Wanfam Chalk Pod is a presentation of <laughs> Linus Podcast Co-op. <laughs> Great job, Dylan. So I don't. I, I would do the whole script, except that's Copyright Nathan's 1992. job. 1992. Focus on the family films. All rights reserved. And yeah, you can listen every day on the radio or get an audio cassette at your bookstore. God, I am so uh, nostalgic for the early 2000s. Yeah. Man, <laughs> this episode felt like it was the least of the ones we've watched. The least? Like, it just had no substance. Yeah, no, no. But. There was really nothing of interest. It was just the, like, they helped the old lady with her birds episode. And yeah. You know, I, I'm i here for it in a sure. zany, good time kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why, why not? Why put the lives of children at stake all the time when you can just save it for the end of the episode? Fair That's enough. That's what I'm saying. All right. So uh, that's all for this one, and we'll be back on either the 14th or the 28th, depending on when this comes out. If you're listening on the 14th, we'll be back on the 28th. If you're listening on the 28th, we'll be back on the 14th. Crazy how that works. Bye, folks. Bye. Is that how we end these things? I yeah, honestly yeah. am never I'm okay entirely with sure.